What is poppin' people? Welcome to another video. First off, the first thing I would like to say is I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. Um, I usually like to make some videos of me talking around the Christmas time, around New Year's. Um, but in this one, you know, we're gonna have a fishing video. But before, before we even hop into it, I wanted to get something out to you guys for Christmas, out to the supporters of the channel because I really appreciate each and every single one of you guys. And I can't thank you guys enough. Like this journey to last, you know, almost a decade has been amazing. And for everyone that supported me along the way, I cannot thank you guys enough. With that being said, I was gonna give away um, a couple baits out of the Big Bass Energy Box by Six Cents. This is actually my dad's, he wanted one, so he ended up ordering one. And I was gonna give a few baits out of here, but I actually found something else that's even better. Um, I would've liked to do like a massive giveaway, but I just, it was last minute guys. So we're gonna have some giveaways coming up, trust me on that one. I have two $25 Bass Pro Shops gift cards right here that I'm gonna be giving away to two lucky winners. This is for Christmas and New Year's as well, guys. But like I said, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. If you guys want to enter this giveaway for the two lucky winners, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell, like this video, get this video like 5,000 likes, folks. And also, if you'd like to comment below some video suggestions, and also, what was your favorite thing that happened this Christmas? Comment it below, share it with me. I love reading the comments. Even if I don't get to reply to all of them, I do love reading the comments and I appreciate everyone who does that. So yeah, do that and you guys are entering into the giveaway, but let's go ahead and hop in to today's video. Yo, what's popping people? Welcome to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today, the pressure is 30.50. And if you guys don't know what that means, that is very high pressure. We had a cold front roll in and it is pretty cold today too. I think it's about 40 right now, which is cold for Savannah. For Atlanta, it's kind of been like this, but Savannah, that's pretty cold for it to be like a high of 40 right now. So the fishing is going to be tough, but I'm actually here at Bass Pro Shops, if you can see it all the way up there. And we're going to be going in there and looking for whether it's a fishing kit or a specific lure or whatever it is that's going to help us catch the big fish today. So let's go ahead and hop inside. So we've made it in the fishing section. We're going to see what it's going to take, but I just stopped over here because this might be it remember when i came in here not too long ago and i ended up it's probably the last kit that i did i ended up doing this 69 piece fishing kit right here and they had like all of these different ones i think we're gonna pick out one of these and with the pressure being so high today i was almost thinking like something like this with some little tiny finesse worms maybe put them on a drop shot um, maybe on a shaky head something like that i feel like that might be our best bet today but to go through them flukes they got some more finesse worms, tubes, crawls, sankos, lizards, finesse worms, tubes, more crawls and more crawls. They got this one right here. They got this one up here. The thing about this one is that it actually has some black and blue drop shot worms and it also has some sankos. So if we wanted to use a Texas rig, we could, and I believe we could possibly fit this one on a shaky head. So I think, is this the right decision? I think this is the, the one that we need. Look at that. Those are perfect. I think this is what we're going with, to be completely honest with you. Tough day, tough conditions. You guys can take some tips out of this one as well. And we're gonna test out this little $7 fishing kit right here. Let's see what it does. So boys and girls, I made it back to my car. Um, every single time I go into Bass Pro or places, it's like I either see a ton of people that I know, or I meet a ton of new subscribers. I can barely even film in there anymore, to be honest with you. But we got a little bit of footage, and now we're gonna take it out to the pond. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I got a lot more stuff. I just couldn't film it. I, I just kept running into people. But I would like to say, everyone that came up to talk to me, thank you for the support. It really means a lot. And then I saw a lot of people that, you know, I know from the tournament scene around here, so that was cool. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make it out to the pond and try to catch some fish on this tough day. So we just made it out to this beautiful pond. As I said, pressure is up, guys. Probably some of the toughest conditions right now. I'm gonna be able to relate to a lot of you guys that have been saying, you know, you can't catch fish because the fishing's tough. And uh, today's gonna be a rough one. I can already tell you that, but we're gonna go for it. I actually bought some a drop shot rig. So you guys have been asking, you know, about the drop shot, you know, Noah talk about it. And there couldn't be a better time than right now to throw something that slow to try to catch these fish. But the problem is this place that I'm at, it's a very big place. It's hard to fish from the bank. And we're gonna try to get the bait and those steep little holes and drop-offs where those fish are gonna be sitting down and that's gonna be the tricky part. But as long as we can get that bait down there, I think we're gonna get the bite. 
all right so let's look in our bag and i'm going to show you guys what i bought i actually ended up buying two things of the bass pro shops fluorocarbon signature series i haven't tried this yet so two two things of 17 but i'm going to put it on some rods and reels sooner or later but uh yeah let's go ahead and open this up so you guys know you know we got the fishing kit right here we got a bunch of worms that'd be perfect for a drop shot possibly a shaky head with this one and then we can definitely run a Texas rig for some of the Sankos that are down in here. So, so this is a pretty cool fishing kit, especially for how cheap it is. It's definitely like the cheapest one in Bass Pro Shop. So that's going to be neat. Um, I got some packs of shaky heads in here. I don't know if we're going to start off with that. We're probably going to start off with the drop shot. But as you guys can tell, two packs of shaky heads right here. Just the basic spot removers right here. Got some basic drop shot hooks and then some drop shot weights. So we're going to go ahead and rig this up. And before you guys even start saying, Noah, why are you putting this on a bait caster? I don't have my spinning rod with me right now. So we're going to be putting it on a bait caster, which I've done so many other times. It's not like we're vertically dropping down on a fish. So we're not going to have to worry about that too much today. But we're going to go ahead and rig up this drop shot and then get out and try to catch a big fish. Right. So I just tied the hook on right here. This is very important. If you guys want a full on video on a drop shot, think you guys do, then you need to let me know in the comment section, hit the like button. You know, this is very important is to take your tag in and go back through the eyelid. It's the most important thing with the drop shot that not many people do. That is the most important thing right there because look, now your hook is sitting straight up. So when you lift up on the drop shot, that's going right in their mouth. So the worm that we're going to roll with, we're going to do a standard green pumpkin one. And we're just going to straight up nose hook it right here on this drop shot. Okay. There we go. We got it right there. It's time to go fishing now. We are going to have to try to get this bait out there on those little holes and drop offs. I hope we can. That's the only problem. This is a light rig to be casting. I'm hoping I can whip it out there pretty good on this Pro TI setup, but that is looking good. Hopefully we can catch some big ones, man. All right, first cast. Oh yeah, I can beam it decent. Ah, uh, not the best, but it ain't bad. These fish really relate out here to the offshore structure on the bottom. That's really how these fish work out here. You know, usually if you're fishing ponds that are really flat, you know, they got a few lay downs or some grass still in it, you know, you can still catch them up shallow. But with this place having a bunch of drop offs and deep holes in it, those fish really, really target in, target in on that stuff. That's why this place is like really hard to fish from the bank. It's because, you know, it's hard to get your bait out there where the fish are actually at. Oh. That was a bite. That was a bite. Yep, he's got it. Got him. He came off. He freaking came off. I didn't lift up hard enough. Son of a gun, man. That was my first bite right there. I missed him. I missed him. Gosh, I can't believe that. He, I don't think he was big. I should have gave it a little more oomph to it. It's so weird throwing this on Baycaster because I want a hook set, but on a drop shot, you do not need a hook set. On a spinning rod, it's a lot easier to pick up on them. Gosh dang it. There he is. Oh, man. Oh, man. That might be a good one. Oh, uh, he ain't bad. That was the next cast. It might be the fish that hit me. Oh, you are fat. You are fat. Oh, man. Look at that, guys. That's a beautiful fish on the drop shot. You just barely ticked that sucker. I had him. I don't know if this is the same one that bit me a second ago. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's a complete different fish. God, this hook's got him too. Not a big one, but he is fat. And on the first fish today, I do not mind catching a beautiful one like that. Look at that stubby fat dude. Feeding up out there, man. God, you're a little hyper guy, honestly, for how the pressure is. We're gonna release you back, buddy. Thank you for biting. That's our first fish. He was actually up shallow on the flat. He was not on the drop off, which is pretty surprising. That's where I had that bite before, but that could have been the same fish. Hopefully it's not because usually this time of year, you can find fish really stacked up. So hopefully there's just a lot of fish sitting out there. That's what I'm hoping. And if they are, then we should be able to keep throwing out here and catching them. But that was the next cast from when I got that bite. That's why you guys gotta keep your head down. Don't get frustrated. If you lose a fish, I know it's hard sometimes, especially when it's tough, but don't get frustrated. You know, just keep casting, keep your cool, 
keep your energy up, your big bass energy, boys, and you'll keep catching them. So, man, hopefully they're stacked out there. That was awesome. We're gonna grab two green pumpkins and two black and blues. I'm gonna continue with the green pumpkin since I got three bites and three casts. So we're gonna put just this one on there. We're gonna keep nose hooking it. And it's important guys, I'm telling you, on a drop shot, you don't want a hook set. That, that is the thing. You just kinda wanna reel up and lift your rod and keep it high. There he is, he's running with it. Go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude, he was on the drop off all the way out there. Oh man, this is gonna be some fun fishing today, guys. 40 degrees outside, which doesn't seem that cold to many of you guys, but with how the pressure is, I'm telling you, the conditions are tough. Oh man, that's so fun. It's been so long since I've drop shotted a fish and they're not big. He should have been bigger on that drop off, but look at his lipstick on his lips right there. Beautiful little fish, man. We're finding them out here. You know, we had all those bites right out here and they were more on the flat. I cast it more off to the right, let it sink on that drop off, and he was sitting right on that drop off. Got him. Oh man, he's fighting hard. He ain't big. About the same size as the last one. Beautiful little fish. Nothing big, we haven't ran into the big ones yet. I'm hoping that we get some good ones, but we're, we're producing bites and we're producing them fast. Oh, there he is. Next cast, bro. Oh, that feels like a better one. Oh, no, he's bigger. Oh, oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> that's a three pound football. Yes. Next cast. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my gosh. You got that hook good too, man. Oh, I have so many stories about the drop shot. I'd love to tell you guys. Oh man, he's got it good. I didn't bring my pliers like a dingleberry. Golly, I had him good. I had to whip out my keys. That is a good one, guys. I don't think he's quite three, but with his fat belly, he's pushing it. Every bit of two and three quarters. Beautiful, beautiful bass. Next cast on the black and blue. We haven't moved spots, guys. We had six bites all out here on this flat and on the drop off. And these are the ones that we're looking for. There's bigger ones out here, so we might be able to get into them. But finesse fishing with the drop shot today, catching these big winter bass. <laughs> that is awesome right there. All right, buddy. Thank you for biting, man. We needed a good one like you. Look how slow and lethargic they are. Oh, man. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at, look at how slow. That's one thing you want to pay attention to. If the pressure's high, you can almost tell by how these fish are swimming. Oh! Next cast, three pounder. That's what you like to see. Let's catch another one, man. Let's get a five. Listen, I want you guys to understand that I, I think the most fish I've caught out here is six in one day. And we've already caught probably close to 15 on the toughest day that we could actually be fishing out here, which is outstanding. That's just awesome. And that shows you, you know, if you find that deep stuff, there's little drop offs that they're sitting in, there's little holes that they're sitting in, the hard bottom structure. Um, is that you can keep getting by especially the bait that I'm throwing a drop shot It's perfect if you guys are having a hard time pick up that drop shot. I'm telling you give it a shot I'll make a video in the next week or so talking about it on how to get more bites on a drop shot I'll, I'll make that for you guys because I'm not even gonna ask you guys if you want that because I think you need it um, This is probably one of the most valuable videos I've posted especially when the fishing is tough like this um, You go out here you go try this you catch fish, but you could go out and zero you got to find where they're sitting. That's the important part. But once you find them, they're stacked up and you'll catch a ton. Come on, fish. I know you're here. Oh, there he is. Yep. Yo, that's a better one. He ain't giant, but that's a lot better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's second biggest today. Boys. I don't mind catching those. I can catch those all day long. They're treating me right on a tough day. That's all I gotta say. The drop shot is getting you. Oh yeah. It doesn't feel like a bad one. It's so hard to tell. Oh yeah, 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 boys. Oh man, 
he freaking went airborne. I don't know if you guys saw that. But he's about to come airborne again. Oh, it's like a two pounder. Might be a little over that. It's hard to tell. I had to come back to the first spot. Look at that. Oh, he ain't even that. What the heck? Why do he look so large? Solid pound and a half though. Look at that. So I fished 30 minutes after that last catch before this one without a bite. Like I went all the way down there and nothing. So I came back to the first hole where we found him stacked up and just caught another one. So that's important this time of year. Look at that little spot on, on his head right there. That's cool. Beautiful little fish. But um, that's important this time of year, guys. What you want to do is you want to find those fish where they're stacked up like this and you'll wear them out. But you got to understand that there's a reason why these fish are here. Like there's not, like if it's only one fish, all right, maybe it's a fluke. You know, maybe you just randomly caught that fish just cruising or whatever it was. Maybe you're just sitting out there by himself. But usually that's not the case. Right here, we've caught five, six, seven fish in the same exact spot. There is a reason why they're here. Whether it's that drop off or maybe there's just a few rocks and boulders down there. You know, some of the structure on the bottom that they're just sitting on. Maybe it's a little tiny cubby hole that they're stuffing themselves into. There's always reasons behind why you're getting this many bites this time of year. And if you can find those spots, you'll just capitalize and keep catching them. Like literally guys, I've only found two holes right here that they're stacked. Everywhere else, I can't get a bite. So, you know, Jimbo might come out here one day and be like, oh man, the fishing sucks. But in reality, you just haven't found those certain little spots where the fish are sitting off in. And that's why it's important this time of year when it's cold and tough that you come to the spots. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah. That might be the biggest one today. Oh, he's about second biggest. It's a pretty good one. Oh man. Oh man, look at the colors on you too. If you find them stacked up, guys, it's just, this is next cast. This is the third time today that we've done back to back to back. We could have done it about five times, but look at that fish. Oh. Look at how the, the big ones swim off. Oh, that's a good one. This is insane, people. You got to find them stacked up. I can't tell you how many times like I, I'm going to have to say that if you guys want a video of me breaking down what I'm doing, like in specific, so you guys can take this information wherever you're fishing and go apply it towards your lake or your pond or wherever you're fishing. Let me know in the comment section below, because I would love to freaking do that this week. Like this is so important this time of year. Like everybody's having a struggle, you know, and I'm telling you, if you do this the right way, you will catch them. I don't care how cold it is. I don't care how tough it is. It'll work. You might just have to make some slight adjustments like working it a little bit slower or, you know, finding the specific little holes that the fish are sitting in. But literally, it's just unbelievable. You know, we let this refresh for about 30 minutes, came back to it and the fish are still here. And uh, that was a good one that pulled up on this spot. You know, they're sitting on this flat, sitting on that drop off and they're just eating. Let's see if we can get three and three casts. Yep, there's something down there and he's on it. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh. Right when I hit something on the bottom, I don't know what it is that they're sitting on. It's right on that flat though. It was some something hard on the bottom. He ain't even that big. He was sitting right on it. Right when I drug over it, boom, he ticked me. All right, I know exactly where he bit to. We're gonna throw right back out there and catch another one. All right, small one right there game over game over you ready you boys ready keep your eyes peeled we're gonna get hit in 20 seconds 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 oh yeah This place is not easy to fish. This is just finding the fish stacked up. This is so crazy. Oh, this is an unbelievable day. This is like fish number 15. I got him perfect in the top of the mouth. <sighs> so insane. Now I'm done with all you said, all you want.